Florida Fish and Wildlife investigators identified the driver of the boat. They say hit and killed 15 year old Ransom Everglades students off of Key Biscayne over the weekend. The boat owner's attorney denies his client knew anything about this tragedy. Yeah, CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner. She joins us now from outside FWC in North Miami with more on this. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. FWC said that 78 year old Carlos Guillermo Alonso, who had been a boater for 50 years, was alone on his boat when it struck Ella Adler. Florida Fish and Wildlife said that Adler was wakeboarding behind a boat with 12 others off of Key Biscayne over Mother's Day weekend. Authorities say Adler and another girl fell into the water. Then a 42 foot Boston whaler hit Adler and did not stop. Investigators said they used physical descriptions of the boat, went up and down canals in search of it before they located it behind what records show is Alfonso's home. I mean, Alonzo's home. Al Alonzo's attorney ins insists that he had no idea it happened until investigators came knocking on his doorway and says her client is suffering too. This is the worst possible tragedy that anyone could imagine. We are devastated for the Adlers, for their friends, for their family. There is no question in our minds that this is an absolutely horrific thing. Tributes to Ella are still pouring in. Last night, the sleepaway camp that Ella attended in North Carolina, Blue Star Camps, posted on social media saying, Ella, we will always remember your smile, spirit, passion, humor, and your deep love for camp and camp friendships. Your memory will always live on in the mountains. CBS News Miami also interviewed a boat captain and an expert witness who is used in trials to testify about passenger vessels, of about the boat that struck Ella. So coming up at six, we will dive into what that boat captain had to say. I'm live in North Miami, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.